So chances are you now know what the differences are between cast iron and competition kettlebells. And if you don't, hit the card here and head over to that video. It's a short one. It'll give you the details of the differences between those two different kettlebell selections you could make. But what are the advantages and disadvantages of each of them? Let's check it out. So here it is, as I see it, the pros and cons of buying competition kettlebells. Well, the pros, everything is the same through the range. So for someone like me who loves to play with kettlebells and to practice and to go through things like my cleans and snatches and get ups with a very light and practice weight that will still have good crossover to the heavier weights that I use when I'm training, I love having lighter kettlebells in the Olympic style or competition style sets. They just enable me to fit my hands into the kettlebell better. Let's think for a moment of the cast iron in those ranges from sort of six, eight kilos up to somewhere around 24 kilos. That sort of a range in the cast iron set varies so drastically in the size of the kettlebell, the spacing between the bell and the top of the handle, the length of the horns, the thickness of the grip, that I think that introducing that kind of variety into my kettlebell collection in that part of the range would, and I know it has, dissuaded me from using some of the lighter kettlebells because of how uncomfortable they are on my hands. However, the pros is that with that lighter, with those lighter kettlebells in the cast iron sets, they're much easier to store because they are typically much smaller. Whereas the competition kettlebells in those sizes are all the same size, so are always very big and take up a lot of space even when you're not using them. Some more positives for the competition kettlebells is that during these last two years when we've all been in lockdown and hopefully had the opportunity to train in some unlikely scenarios and possibly in parks and gardens, the competition kettlebells have enabled me to introduce play into my training in a way that cast iron kettlebells wouldn't have allowed me to. I've started learning how to juggle with kettlebells, doing flipping and spinning and all of that sort of stuff that is really only there because it's fun. Yes, you can make an argument for in increasing hand-eye coordination and speed of your hips because you've got to get that kettlebell further up, but realistically, as I see it at least, juggling with kettlebells is something you do for a little bit of fun. However, if I only had cast iron kettlebells in that smaller and lighter weight range, I wouldn't be able to juggle with them because they're not made as evenly weighted as the competition belts. So as you flick and spin them through the air, they take strange revolutions and rotations that will stop you or dissuade you from learning juggling because of the haphazard spin that those handles take. So I know it's not a common one for most people. Most people aren't going to be juggling kettlebells, but it's worth thinking about that if you want to practice something like that, the cast iron kettlebell is just not going to really enable you to do it. Next, let's go back to that spacing difference in the lighter kettlebells of those cast iron bells. If you are a man, typically, on average, you're going to be slightly larger. And as a result, the very small kettlebells are going to be quite uncomfortable for you. The bell is going to have a very short distance between the top of the handle and the top of the bell. So it's gonna sit really high up on your wrist and not only be uncomfortable, but change the position that you're used to holding a kettlebell in for things like the rack position, cleans, snatches, get ups, all of that sort of stuff. However, the benefit of having the cast iron set as opposed to the competition sets is that because of the angle of the horns in those cast iron bells, things like uh, um, horned carries, uh, goblet squats, might feel a little more comfortable because of the angle of that handle. And ultimately that's gonna come down to your preference and your anatomy. I've just found that most people can fit into a competition kettlebell slightly easier than they can fit into a cast iron kettlebell as the smaller athlete will find small cast iron bells very easy to use, but the slightly larger athlete will find cast iron kettlebells slightly more uncomfortable to use. The disadvantage, however, of those competition kettlebells when it comes to things like loaded carries is that because they are so large, if you're doing a suitcase carry and you've got two kettlebells, you've got to keep them quite far away from your body to stop them banging into your knees. And also doing things like double kettlebell swings, cleans and snatches with the competition bells will require you, especially if you've got shorter legs, to take a wider stance to accommodate those bells in the center. 
Whereas, let's take for example two eight kilogram cast iron bells, you could basically have the same stance you would have for a double handed single kettlebell swing as you would for a double kettlebell swing clean snatch. So you'll, you'll have some better transfer of skill when it comes to the cast iron kettlebells in that very specific scenario. Lastly, let's just go over grip fatigue. Sometimes training your grip is something you want to do. However, kettlebell training kind of introduces that element to your training regardless of whether you're using competition or cast iron kettlebells. The problem with cast iron kettlebells is that the bigger the weight becomes, the thicker the handle becomes, and the thickness of the handle becomes its own challenge, especially if you have normal sized hands or smaller hands. Obviously, if you're six foot six, you're going to have giant paws that find it really easy to get all the way around the handle, but that is not most of us. So it's worth considering when it comes to using those kettlebells, what is going to be best for your anatomy. Personally, what I've ended up adopting is a bit of a mix in my range. Because I wanted some very big and very heavy kettlebells that don't exist in the competition, competition sets, I've chosen to introduce cast iron kettlebells from around 28 kilograms up to 68 kilograms in my personal collection. From 8 kilograms to 24 kilograms, I've opted for the competition sets so that all of the kettlebells I use there enable me to train with the same technique and it's continued to enable me to focus on things like soft style training or sport kettlebell training, as well as perfecting the hard style technique that I use for those larger kettlebells when it comes to building strength. So I hope that was helpful. That was me trying to be brief because there is tons of detail you can go into when it comes to something like this. But if that was helpful, please give this video a like. It does help the algorithm and helps this channel grow. And ultimately, what I'm trying to do is provide you guys with more and more quality information when it comes to training with kettlebells and selecting the bells that work best for you. So if you can, subscribe and share this video with someone else to help this channel grow. I appreciate it immensely. Thanks very much. I'll see you at the next one.